<laughs> Here's a kit which I came across quite a few years ago, well, 2006 actually, and I thought I'd have a go at making this. It came from um, one, of the, one of the trade fairs. So what does it make, do you think? Something very interesting indeed. It makes um, a thing called the Great Wave, a very famous Japanese picture, which is that thing there. But it's a box. Box, 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 box. And in the front of the box, this is where the wonder is, it makes a three-dimensional, what's called a diorama of the Great Wave with Mount Fuji in the back. And look at the detail gone into it. It's about six layers, depth planes, deep or more. You can light it up from the inside if you want to, but that was a lot of fun to actually construct that. And I've got a second one to get around to doing as well as well. So diorama is something I never made before. And uh, I certainly enjoyed this so much. I'll do it again. This little flap comes at the top just to hold up and show what it is. It makes a superb version of that famous picture of the great wave, the tidal wave by the Japanese artist in about 1888, I think it was. It's very, very nice indeed. So complete depth there and a beautiful thing, all from flat pieces. Very nice. The other ones I've got, I've got another one of these, I've forgotten which one it is, but it does show there's four in the series they've got. Here's the Great Wave. I'm not sure what this one here is. Let's get this in focus and see what this is. I haven't got that one. Oh, perhaps I have it. And that one, that famous, and a famous picture here too. So there's a series of four of them, usually made, of which I've only made one so far, I've, only, I've got another one to make. So it's a lot of time and effort to do it instantly, but it's a lot of fun because the end result is something really, really beautiful. It's a, it's a, it's a full, almost nice scale of diorama. Here's something which I haven't done, I've got to get round to this sometime, but it means undoing the pieces and it's a jigsaw puzzle, but it's a Mona Lisa, of course. But it's been made in a very interesting way. Have a look at it close to, because see, there's the jigsaw pieces. Now, what's interesting is I get really close to the camera. The jigsaw pieces themselves are made of something even finer. Let's see if I can get really close to see it. You've got tiny little squares, each of them with different colors and hues and depths and brightnesses and darknesses. There's a dark bit there. And when it's all put together, I worked out that each actual piece contains roughly about a hundred tiny little um, pictures. So the whole thing is about 3,000 pictures or more, perhaps tiny little ones to create the Mona Lisa. And then it's instant, in addition to that, it's made of the jigsaw puzzle. So you've got to take it apart and then reassemble them, which is a bit tricky to do, I think. So you have got a picture on the back to help you to, to, to guide you. The end result is you've got a very nice portrait which sits at an angle like that on your desk at an angle um, and shows the Mona Lisa. It's very nicely done, but looking a bit strange because of the fact that it's been pixelated with these tiny, tiny, tiny little squares. Beautiful idea. The last item we show is an extraordinary thing. It's, um, it's a baseball. I wish I had a baseball bat, which I haven't never played baseball. I've done rounders, which is similar. The idea is to hit this very hard into the air and something extraordinary happens, which I have to demonstrate. It's got a wind-up mechanism, which is just from there to there, from there literally that much, and now it undoes and it starts to open. That's extraordinary. So you've got three seconds to hit this hard, let it go, hit it hard as you can, up in the air, and three seconds later, it undoes, and as it falls down through the air, this is what comes out. Goodness me, look at that. We've got two half of the balls which are, are, are held together so they don't separate and this is a gorgeous big red silk pa parachute extraordinary so look at it looks like when it's from a distance that's going to fall through the air quite slowly if you want to run i suppose you've got plenty of time to get all the way around the course before this finally hits the uh, ground but it's a big big parachute all coming drifting down from the air all from hitting that ball hard and it's got a interesting mechanism inside to create that little slow movement. So, and a most elaborate piece in order to have a bit of fun for 
baseball players, I suppose. I've never tried it because I haven't got a baseball bat, but I have to adapt something and you need a big field or a big garden lawn to um, perform it with. Hmm, let's try it sometime.